welcome welcome thank you so much for subscribing to this youtube channel welcome once again here is your headline for today low battle just for us i will make sure mc Oluomo loses his american citizenship popular lawyer blows hot on mc Oluomo. so we saw the nonsense campaign that happened in lagos state and how you know everybody have been doing their campaign everybody will do campaign everybody want to come on seats everybody want to go to want to go to a rock so after peter B did his own article did his own now mc Lumona came out you know he's supporter of jagaban of lagos now so he came out and was speaking so i'll, I'll really paraphrase what he said here yeah. and he mentioned four things majorly and i will just outline it here he said number one the people that was that died in answers people that uh, they are claiming that people died in answers where are the dead bodies where are their remains where are their cops where did they put them and just are claiming that people died in answers right people were shot people died so where is the body now where's the dead body so this is a question that m solomon is asking people okay so if you know the answer please comment in the comment section let us answer this guy second question was those people that died don't they have families in nigeria second question those people that died in answers doing the answers do they have families in nigeria let's call third questions is asking nigerians did they did nigerians bribe people to come and act as mothers or fathers or brother and sister of those people that died so that they will not come on social media and be shouting hey we want we want justice for our, for our mothers our fathers or our brothers and sisters he's saying that did nigerians bribe those people that are coming out to say that hey, our mothers and fathers have died did they bribe them please if you know the answer please help us to answer this man please since for the last time for the last one Atiku and Peter will be at the ones doing all this. They are the ones making people, you know, creating inciting violence in the minds of people, inciting hatred in the minds of people towards Tinubu. That everything that happened in the answers and people lying that uh, some people died, that is Peter will be an article that created everything. So this is what M. Solomon said in the campaign they did in Lagos some days ago. So he said, you should come out and support Tinimbu. Tinimbu is their father. They should come out and support them. Support Tinimbu. Okay. So after he did his own gra, 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 gra in Lagos, a lawyer from America came out on video and spoke. Hmm. I too like waiting this guy. Sorry for this pidgin language. My mom didn't see me. This pidgin, this, um, this talk where this guy talked, this lawyer in America, what he said, he sweet my belly. He sweet my belly gunning. So a lawyer came on air and he said he's authoritatively telling telling MC Oluomo that if he steps foot in America, hey, hey, while at the that he will not like what will happen to him. Let me say it again. He said he's authoritatively telling MC Oluomo and MC Oluomo that if that man steps foot in america that he will not like what he will see that except he did, he did not know that mc olomo came to nigeria came to america he said the citizenship that was given to mc olomo by the american government is a privilege and not his rights and it can be withdrawn from him in a gifty because he's not born in america he said he's a child abuse lawyer and no people have been coming telling him that he's shouting but he's going to shout he's going to shout because what will happen to him Solomo if he comes to america it will shock everybody then he gave the reason why he doesn't want mc Solomo to step foot in america he said mc Solomo cannot be, be in nigeria be inciting violence in nigeria you cannot be a criminal and not come to america to enjoy freedom to enjoy maximum security no that's not possible so that was his own reason he said when mt oloma was filling the form to become an american citizen that they began to ask, they asked him some questions if he had ever committed crime before 
that if he belongs to any group that is criminal in nature and we all know that the group that um i don't know please if you know the name please tell me that n u r t w i don't know Edjo. save me or save my minister please help me help me in the comment section that n u r t w group that m solomo has and in so that some months ago he created a professional uniform for them professional agbegos could help us that that group we all know is is a criminal group they, they sometimes they kill themselves that group you know how how would, just, how would you just be on the road and be collecting money from bus drivers i don't know i mean i don't know that what kind of sense well we know that you sell land yes or money land. yes fine and good but how you stay on the road and those bus drivers you collect money from them and they don't give you money you cause fight well let me give you a story please don't be angry my love stories very well i was going to where was i going to i was going to ibadon some days ago i think last week saturday no, sorry. Last week, Thursday, I was going to Ibadan. I went to this bus. My mind, not, my mind told me not to enter this bus. I said, let me just enter Jawi. So I entered this bus. And then, I learned that share one side. The traffic was too much. We know the bad road in Nigeria now. God help our government. So, this, um, Agbego, he pursued this bus driver from, I don't know, Tato Gate side. Pursued him to that. Ah, ah. I mean, I don't really know it very well. I'm very sorry. I'm not, I'm not really that good with it, but pushing him from one target side to that chevron wood, gong, gong, gong. I was like, pay me money, pay me money. And the man was like, I will pay you now. Come, I will turn back. He said, no, the man is lying. Everybody was in the bus like, well, I'll give the man his money. And the man finally gave him the money. And when he gave him the money, the, the ugly who slapped him. Like, I don't understand. You're giving this, the driver gave the guy, after we disturbed the driver, oh, I'll give him money. We're late for where we are going to now. They ever give him the money and he slapped the man hard. And the man, you know, some Yoruba, <laughs> I'm so sorry to say, but some of them don't know how to fight. And the man came out of the bus and was doing as he wanted to fight. That's how the man came to fight like one hour there. So we see this, this, this people, this group of people that Solo Olomo is the leader of, they are constituting new sons in Nigeria, causing traffic too, causing traffic, collecting money from bus drivers, and the road is bad. And then in turn, the, the bus drivers they did not hide the price for us. It's too much. He said, um, this lawyer, he said he's going to make America find out how M. Solo Omo became a citizen of America. He said there are three ways to become a citizen of America. He said either by marriage, by asylum, or if you're a refugee. And also, he said on that one that maybe he came into maybe a marriage of convenience. And if the American government finds out that anybody comes into, became a citizen of the country through marriage of convenience, they would withdraw that citizenship. So he said he's going to write to the, um, the American government, I think an organization that gives citizenship, like, how will I put this word now? Please correct me if I'm not correct. Give this decision um, card or whatever. You're going to write to them to confirm how M. Solomon became a citizen of America. So I couldn't look at the comments of people towards um, what this lawyer said. Because he's from America. The lawyer is in America. I, I, know, I, I know he's a Nigerian, but he's from America. And he was really so angry that M. Solomon could come out and start doing nonsense. And later you go to America and be enjoying peace. So Frickson said, someone sent this video to our group due to my knowledge about the U.S. Immig immigration law and policies. Let me begin by saying there's evidence of misleading statements in the video. NURTW was registered by Nigerian government in 1978. It doesn't belong to any individual. However, the threat to decommission Oluomo's citizenship amounts to ordinary pride of ignorance. If truly is a U.S. citizen, you need to understand U.S. does not operate like Nigeria, where injustice triumphs at the will of the wish. There are limited conditions to revoke U.S. citizenship once it is conferred, according to the Immigration and Nationality Act. One of the few vital offenses, the person must have been convicted of treason or participating in any attempt to overthrow the U.S. government.
This is the most serious of its kind. Yet, it is not an easy process, very tedious in the U.S. justice system. Also, note that ordinary written petitions or adding an organization like NURTW cannot revoke a U.S. citizenship from an individual. Lastly, the video also indicates that you, Ghana Finals, how you acquire citizenship, rights to privacy, forbids that inquiry. Thus, the video is meaningless to the true legality of the subject matter, but meaningless in the realm of entertaining. Mm. So this man is saying that the lawyer cannot do anything. This long note this man wrote is saying that this lawyer that is saying that um, Mr. Olomo is going to withdraw his citizenship cannot do anything. That is just making him out. Well, let's see what will happen. Don't worry, within a few days we're going to get and I'm going to bring it to you. Very hot. I will serve it very hot to you. A lawyer they said, at lawyer Olalekon. Sorry, I didn't mention the lawyer's name. His name is Olalekon. He said, this man is saying, may almighty God bless and grant you long life for speaking out and also standing up for the voiceless people. You are a blessed soul and a blessing to all your robots around the world. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. A lot of comments. <laughs> Somebody, Johnson said, just imagine, he doesn't deserve to be alive. Motherfucker. What with what he's saying, Agbego for that matter. Mm. So somebody replied me, he said, when I said, who knows um, the meaning of N U R T W? No, I didn't really understand it. So he said, it means National Union of Road Transport Workers. Mm. Professional Agbegos. Okay. May Maria said, if this M Z Oluma is a good citizen, the police will arrest him. Stupid government, nothing to offer Nigeria than poverty and suffering. Caroline said, America needs to revoke that citizenship. Hmm. And Caroline also said that, how can American give residents permits to assassins? Hmm. Okay. Injuries Light said, MC Oh my goodness, look at the name he changes. The man's name is MC Olu Omo, but this man changed it to MC Olu <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. He said, You are saying nobody was killed in Lekki Togets and you have children. By the grace of God, of what happened to those youths at Lekki Togets will surely happen to your children in Jesus' name. Ah, amen. This one is, this one is getting gone. Beatrice said, This man is saying nobody was killed in Ensas. Ha. Hey, if there's God, he will revenge for those people that have been killed in Lekki Togets and all of our children. Amen. Amen. Oba said, MC, MC Olomo, MC, M, sorry, MC Olomo is Agbego. Does anyone like him has brain? I'm not sure. Please let me to ask them. Let me to ask them. So these are the comments of people towards um, what MC Olomo said and what the lawyer said to him. What's your reaction to this? M. Zolomo said that nobody was killed in Lekki Togets. And if you have proof, come out and show us where the person is buried, according to M. Zolomo. And the lawyer said, if M. Zolomo dares to step foot in America, he's not going to like what will happen. Because he's going to write a petition later to the U.S. government to withdraw his citizenship permit. What's your reaction to this? I'll be waiting for your comment. I can't wait. I can't wait. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for listening. God bless.